Cause number four is tariffs. A tariff is a tax on imported goods. And Northerners felt the federal government had the power to make laws that applied to all states, including opposing taxes, imposing taxes. So Northerners felt that the government had the power to make laws and apply taxes to all people. Southerners were also angry at Congress. Do I need to go back? Yeah. A tariff is a tax on imported goods. Northerners felt that the federal government had the power to make laws that applied to all states, including imposing taxes. Southerners were also angry at Congress, using its power to impose taxes on the South's agricultural products. They felt that any federal tax restricted the rights of the individual states, and Texans were for low tariffs to continue to trade cotton with Europe. Southern states produced 80% of the world's supply of cotton during this time. 80% of the entire world's supply of cotton came from the southern states of the United States. Remember when we went back to economic wealth of the South at this time depended on slavery? This is exactly why. It wasn't just making money in the United States. It was making money across the globe. 80% of the world's supply of cotton was produced by the southern states in the US. Remember guys, these notes are online, so if we need to continue writing them, you can. Reason number five, and final reason, was because of the election of 1850, or 1860. The election of 1860, when Republican Abraham Lincoln won the election, Southerners believed that their rights would no longer be respected. Because of this, many Southerners believed it was finally time to leave the Union. Vanessa, what do you think Southerners meant when they said it was time to leave the Union? Do you think it was individuals leaving? No. Who was it? The entirety of the state. Not just the people, but the state itself. We're going to take our land, our governments, our states, and we are going to remove ourselves from your federal government and create our own. Where we have a say in the things that we can and can't do, and we are going to allow slavery to continue. Abraham Lincoln disagreed. After Lincoln's election, 11 southern states eventually seceded from the Union. So after the election, the final straw that broke the camel's back, in 1860, 11 states seceded from the Union and formed the Confederate States of America. Lawmakers of Texas voted in favor of it 166 to 8. Only eight individuals said, let's stay with the U.S. 166 of them were for leaving. That is a margin of more than three to one. Eleven states left the minute he was elected. Leaving the Union, forming their own government called the Confederate States of America. Texas, being one of them, voted 166 to 8. All right. Go to Padlet number 2, please. I want you to think about this for the next three to five minutes and write down, in your opinion, what is the most important reason that we that we went to war. What was the most important reason that individuals seceded from the Union? Using your information from the notes, what reason in your eyes is the most significant for causes of war? Explain both the cause and your reasoning behind it. Simple two to three sentence words will not be sufficient. 
Make sure you guys explain. a lot of good stuff right now guys keep it up says that the economic value that slaves gave their statement because the because in order to maintain the way of life they need to have as much free labor as possible. So you're saying that the tippy point or the number one reason why we went to war was that slaves were the economic success that led the South to be as powerful as they are. And so without having that economic value or without having slaves, they would probably never have went to war in the first place. Okay? Or that's why they did go to war, for that reason. Sarah, I think the most reasonable causes for the war was slavery because it was viewed as evil and some people didn't care and used that because they didn't know what they were going to do. Another cause of the Civil War was Abraham Lincoln's election. Once he was in office, so many people left to create their own, their own unit or their own Confederate states because they didn't believe in what he was doing. Let's see who else. Tanner, the tipping point for war when Lincoln was elected was, was the cause of the slave states to leave Union and form their own government. So the tipping point was the, was the presidential election that led states to actually go, we're going to go do our own thing. Chance says that the most significant cause for the Civil War was also the election of 1860. Because the, the 11 states that left the Union immediately didn't like, didn't like Abraham Lincoln so they left. Abraham Lincoln also said he wasn't a supporter of slavery, so they would probably, they probably thought that slaves were going to be set free. And finally, I'm going to go with Moises. The most significant cause for war in my eyes was slavery because it seems like that was the starting point of all of this madness. You see people disagreeing on each other, making it a bigger issue. On top of that, adding Abraham Lincoln's election, making 11 states leave the United States. Okay, so let me ask you guys a question. Seems like everybody is saying it's, the reason for war is Abraham Lincoln and slavery. Do you guys not think sectionalism is the number one reason? Okay. I, I think it is. Why do you think it is? Because it split the ideals of what each part of the US wanted, and the South wanted one thing and the North wanted another. You're gonna always have disagreements, right? You all have disagreements every day with your family, your friends, and probably individuals in your classes. But there's usually varying opinions, and you all usually share a common ground at the same time. The difference between now and individuals in 1860 was that 
they didn't seem to find common ground anywhere. The North had a very particular way of going about their business that was so polar opposite than the South that the South could never find common ground with them either. And because they had varying opinions of economic success, morality issues, constitutional rights, federal laws, and state laws, they would never have made the decisions to not go to war. So let me ask you this then, Minerva. From what you see, okay, so let's go back. So you learned about sectionalism, slavery, the state's rights. You learned uh, more issues like uh, Missouri Compromise. Um, you learned about uh, the Future of Slave Acts, tariffs, and then finally election of 1860. Could you change the past? Pick any of these or all of these. Where did we go wrong at? As a country. I think it's about separating. Separating? Do you think... So, you know, of course you can find reasons and just like, hey, slavery is bad. And we all know that. And we all agree with that. But it's easy to say that in 2020. It wasn't hard, it wasn't easy to make somebody believe that in 1860. So, in your eyes, all of these other things wouldn't have been an issue so long as you fix sectionalism? Yes. 